crazy town right now. Oh, Biden was out and about today. And well, it okay. didn't go uh didn't didn't go too well. Roll it, Aaron. Like, where'd everybody go? <laughs> Turn around, dummy. I didn't see that. Oh. God, my father would say, excuse my back, I apologize. Uh, Hello, maybe. Milwaukee. Is your son oh. here? <laughs> All right. Well, I tell I didn't warn anybody, don't run from mayor. They know where you're living. You think you can solve all your problems. <laughs> the communities everywhere and at this the Boys and Girls Club. By the way, I've been a gigantic supporter of Boys and Girls, just the biggest in the country. But when I was a senator, I provided a lot of money when during the crime sprees were going on for Boys and Girls Clubs. I come from a city, Wilmington, Delaware, where if you ever, well, it's the same thing happened. We're in a situation where I-95 is four lanes going through a community that was all African-American, and it just split it. And it's now about 50, 60, maybe 70 yards wide. And I'm... I'm president. I can't get that done yet. And why did you guys get it first? I don't know. There are also cities all across America where highways used to be. Uh, and they, uh, along, you know, redlining, along with redlining, black small business from hotels to jazz clubs to like restaurants like Ray's grandfather's. Today, 6th Street is a wide road without a, without a protected bike path, bike lanes, or bus lanes. All of this looking people, uh, locking people out of opportunities and leaving them more isolated, safe place to read and learn. Where libraries <coughs> who were what? given cake, the library would give cake to children when they showed up cake. to read. From watching the Milwaukee Bucks play to attending Milwaukee Area Technical College. And if I didn't mention the technical college, I'd go home and sleep alone because my wife is a full-time teacher at the community college. Oh, yeah, of course she is. Yeah, you all think I'm kidding. I'm mm -hmm. not. You know, I, I've been very involved for a while. I know I don't I look like I just arrived, but I'm... But all kidding aside, I didn't realize, even though I was deeply involved initially in the civil rights movement that got me involved to run for the first place. Back in December, I was in Milwaukee and met with a plumber named Rashawn, who owns it. Is he here? Who? All right. The community's too often left behind we're, we're rebuilding. We're rebuilding the roads. We're filling in the cracks in the sidewalks. We're creating spaces to live and work and play safely. Wages are rising faster than prices, and now we have among the lowest inflation rates of any country in America, and it's still, we're still fighting to lower it even further. We're fighting to lower over health care at, at cost, education costs, to give just a little more breathing room, as my dad would say. Guess what? It lowered the federal deficit by $160 oh. billion. Dollars. Very own Senator Ron Johnson calls Social Security, I get this one, I'm amazed. He calls Social Security a Ponzi scheme. Did you ever think you'd hear anybody say that? A Ponzi scheme? Give me a break. Instead of cutting Social Security and Medicare accurate. to give tax breaks to the super wealthy, <laughs> no. I'm going to protect and strengthen Social talking? Security and Medicare to make the wealthy begin to pay their fair share. Oh, and for every go. life lost, they're expect there is estimated eight close family behind. And now we're building a future America <laughs> full of possibilities. <laughs> building an economy from the middle out and the bottom oh, up, not oh, the top God, down. Not the, not the top that down top down the top stuff, down. not a whole lot landed on my dad's kitchen table growing yeah, up. <laughs> Look, he gets. our plan is working. America's coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's why, I, I swear to God, I've never been more optimistic about America's future than today. Things are going to change no matter who's president in a big way. Things are going to change much better much worse. Wow. There's nothing beyond our capacity. Oh, here's going to yell. I mean, sincerely, think about it. There's nothing beyond America's capacity if we do it together. And that's what we're going to do. May God bless you all. And may God protect our troops. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, I don't even know where to unwrap that. Start unwrapping that thing. <laughs> that's obviously not. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's obviously well, not the, the, uh, the... All of a sudden, he's, in a, he's on, he's on I-95, then he's in the library. I, I, I mean, man. That's Ooh. not the State of the Union cocktail he had this morning. Wow, right? man, oh, man. He, he mixes it up now in these speeches. There's times where it's like, uh, and then it's... The yeah. blah, blah, blah. There's yeah. times Watch where it's me. just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. They must have had him shot up Ooh. with some stuff for that uh, last week's uh, address, man. Yeah. 